Okay, so you've got this big old rock at the bottom of this switchback. We parked the Hebelmobile back here. You've got a stream running down here, and it's a lovely uh, rocky, bouncy creek. Water's just bouncing down there. Now that is a good water source. If you were... Oh, eight feet, nine feet tall, a thousand pounds, and your job were to just just run around mountains all day. Well, you'd have a huge appetite. First, you'd have a huge thirst, I think. You'd need a lot of water. But you'd also have a huge appetite for electrolytes. Right? To... to fuel your muscles including your heart so you'd you'd get a lot of electrolytes in a creek like this a rocky creek so uh, th that's a draw and then the slope across the creek is unusually gentle uncharacteristically gentle for this mountain you you just look back at some of those slopes on the ride over here slopes and cliffs and ask yourself if you lived in a cave up the mountain here somewhere or maybe down the mountain would you rather commute up and down cliffs hanging on for dear life with your 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 bleeding fingernails ripping out of your fingers or would you rather stroll up and down this way yeah I, I I'm I guess I'm kinda lazy but I'd rather stroll up and down this way so that's another draw to me and one of the traditional names for the Japanese Sasquatch Kawazaru river monkeys cuz monkey is the only primate they knew you know, but they're not monkeys because in the same stories, these Kawazaru rip people, rip people away from. Well, they take people away and they and they rip them inside out. And they sometimes marry them, uh, marry, and sometimes eat them. So they're not little monkeys. 
but Kawazaru, or whatever you call them, were known to stick to waterways and use them for transportation. And Paddy was found in a mountain creek bed. So that was my rationale for putting a camera here, watching that hillside. And good or bad judgment, this is my first time using a trail camera. Some of you might be yelling at me, that's a dumb place to put it, but that's where I put it. Camera 2. I thought I saw an actual wildlife trail back here, and when I looked in it, I saw a tree pushed down, pushed down, limbs all torn off, and it's pushed down in the middle of the trail. Now, to Skip Walker, my friend, who asks a good question, have I noticed any rhyme or reason to trees pushed down? Uh, fat ends, skinny ends, which way they're pointing. In truth, Skip, I haven't. I haven't. Um, but let's start. Let's start taking notice. I will try to remember and see if they point to anything and report back to you. I do think large horizontal X's mark trailheads. Well, depending which side you're standing on. To, from our perspective, trailheads. From their perspective, the, the, the end of the line. Some of the time. We have two examples of that. One on Mount Zhao and one on Bingo Akasaka. And that's not a big data set, but let's see if it, if it grows. But for the record, Skip, this one here, the skinny end points downhill down this animal trail. Now I put these two cameras close together and here is my thinking on that. We know that trail cams don't have much luck catching North American Sasquatch. The Sasquatch are, are wise to them. Now we hope that the Japanese Hibagon, that's your standard Japanese Bigfoot are not wise to them. They're not being much hunting here, and so your average Hibagon has never seen a trail cam, never encountered one before. His mama never educated him on them. His daddy never taught him how to avoid them. Now, but he might see it and be a little squirrely about it anyway. If he has any good sense in him, he, he, he will be. Well, I hope that if he caught sight of one camera and moved to avoid it, then the other camera might pick him up before he spots that one. And we'll look at the camera results in the next video. For now, I'm just showing you where I put them and telling you why I, I put them there. And we are, we are now on the southwest, southwest of Mount Heba, south of the colossal solar calendar. It's up there.
Okay. Number two, and don't go in there, the mosquitoes are very bad. <clears throat> Number two. this I wonder Yeah. <sighs> 